Bungie recently announced a massive 75% damage buff to hand cannons in Destiny 2, which means the hand cannons are about to hit R. And on top of that, a 20% buff to red bars, which will make them so good for ad clear. And if that wasn't enough, they are also buffing the reload speed. With all of this information in mind, we can confidently say that hand cannons are going to be insanely better than they currently are in the game. In fact, they will be hitting harder after this buff than they ever have in Destiny history. Welcome to the new hand cannon in meta in Destiny 2. Side note, Bungie, have you lost your minds? Power creep is real. Now that we know hand cannons are about to be absolutely insane, the only question we need to answer is which hand cannon will be the best one of them all? Which one will define the meta? Melt adds, majors, and bosses, and everything else in the game? What hand cannon is the best, whether it's exotic or legendary, and what is the god role of that legendary hand cannon? That's what we're here to answer today. After this buff goes live, these will be the best hand cannons in the game. The Zali's Bane hand cannon from King's Fall is easily one of the best, if not the very best legendary hand cannon in Destiny 2. The only reason why you haven't really heard of it or seen it used a whole lot is because hand cannons have been just that bad. Or really, I should say that SMGs have just been outclassing hand cannons for so long that they have not had their time to shine, especially in PvE. But the Zali's Bane is so good for PvE. And the reason why is because it has double damage perks. In the right hand column, we're going to go with one for all. And don't forget, you can craft this thing already if you want to get ahead of the curve. One for all is going to give us a 35% damage boost, which is massive and will make clearing those red bars even easier, even with the plus 20% damage increase from the buff that's coming up. On top of that, with the 75% damage increase, this thing might very well melt majors and break champions. And what makes the Zali Bane especially unique is that it can also be paired with explosive payload. So that's going to be a part of the god roll for this. We have explosive payload and one for all. And the reason why this is so cool is because if you shoot that explosive payload shot, it can actually hit multiple targets with one bullet, which doesn't ordinarily happen with hand cannons, but the fact that it can hit multiple targets makes it so it can proc one for all much easier. You can in fact proc one for all with just one hand cannon bullet in a dense enough pile of adds, making the uptime for one for all significantly higher and making this weapon overall significantly better. To complete the five out of five god roll, we're going to have tactical mag as our magazine perk. We're going to choose fluted barrel so we can get a little bit more handling on this. And for the masterwork, we're going to go with a reload speed masterwork. This is the overall best legendary hand cannon in the game currently, and with these massive buffs, it will almost certainly be a contender for the number one spot. But the next hand cannon we're about to talk about will give it some fierce competition, and that is the Time Lost Fatebringer. This thing as well can roll with double damage perks. However, it's not a solar weapon like Zali's Bane. It's a kinetic weapon, and these double damage perks that you're going to want to use are going to be Frenzy and Explosive Payload. And the reason why you choose Frenzy over Adrenaline Junkie is because the increase to handling reload speed is so nice. Plus, it'll have near infinite uptime whenever you're in combat, and you don't really want to have to get a grenade kill in order to get your damage boost procced for your primary, but I will say Adrenaline Junkie is not a half bad roll for this hand cannon. I just personally choose Frenzy to be a part of the god roll. For the magazine, we're going to go with the Pended Mag because we won't need any more handling. For the barrel, we're going to go with Hammer Forged Rifling. And for the Masterwork, we're going with a Range Masterwork. That's the 5 out of 5 god roll for the Fatebringer Time Lost. Now, of course, the Zali's Bane is acquired by doing King's Fall, and the Fatebringer is acquired by doing the Vault of Glass. So if you haven't already acquired these weapons, you have plenty of time to do so before the next season. And funny enough, the next weapon also comes from a raid. This is the Nation of Beast, this is going to be the best legendary Arcan Cannon with Explosive Payload, Keep Away, Tactical Mag, Fluted Barrel, and Arranged Masterwork. This thing is so potent and so fun to use in PvE and will definitely be a very strong option next season. You can currently craft this roll by farming out Last Wish Clears. So get in there and get to grinding if you want that. The next hand cannon we're going to talk about is if a Void Affinity. This is the Exalted Truth Adept, a Trials hand cannon, so you're going to have to get sweaty and get into PvP if you want to get this god roll. We've got Frenzy and Perfect Float. If you don't know, Perfect Float actually procs Frenzy earlier than it normally would. So that is the perfect combination for this weapon. The magazine is Appended Mag, the barrel is Full Bore, and the Masterwork is Range Masterwork. That's the 5 out of 5 God Roll. You gotta make it to the Lighthouse to get this bad boy, or you can turn in Trials Engrams if you want the non-adept version. And that's gonna complete the trifecta of Void, Arc, and Solar God Rolls. And of course, we mixed in a Kinetic. The last legendary hand cannon that we're gonna mention before we jump into the exotics is gonna be the Is Luna. This is a Stasis hand cannon that can roll with Headstone, which is really nice. You can proc stasis crystals on crits and blow them up and it just clears the room of adds. Pair that with unrelenting and you're going to have infinite health regen. The magazine for this is flared magwell. The site is going to be fast draw and we're going to go with a range masterwork. You can farm for this god roll by doing the grasp of avarice dungeon. And with that, that's going to complete our first five meta hand cannons in destiny 2 when the buff goes live next season. Now it's time to talk about the exotic hand cannons that you need to dust off before this buff goes live. If you've been sitting on these bad boys in the vault or if you haven't yet 
yet collected them, make sure to do so. The first exotic we need to mention is Sunshot. It has insane stats all around, and it's the only 150 RPM in the game. It has explosive payload, which is one of the best perks for PvE. It has combustion, which functions like incandescent, and it's obviously an exotic, so it also benefits from the 40% increase to damage against red bars. And when considering that will now stack on top of the 20% buff that happens next season, the Sunshot is going to be a very hard hitting hand cannon. It also has the benefit of having 12 in the mag, which is really nice so you don't have to reload as often as other hand cannons. Sunshot will definitely be a top tier weapon after this buff goes live. The next exotic I need to mention on this list is the Crimson. This thing has it all. Health regen, no reload if you get ad kills, and after the buff goes live, this thing will be impressive. It's already one of the best options in PvE when you need health regen or to survive, and after the buff goes live, it will be just that much better. And the last exotic that needs to be mentioned here is the exotic hand cannon Ariana's Vow. This thing already packs an extremely powerful punch because it doesn't use the normal primary ammo system. Instead, using special ammo, it delivers more damage but at the downside of not having infinite ammo. And considering that this thing is about to get a 75% damage buff against majors, Ariana's Vow is about to absolutely run through those mid-level adds. And just as a side note, if you didn't know, champions are actually registered in the game as majors. So the 75% buff to majors will also affect damage to champions. So basically, Ariana's Vow will guaranteed one-shot those anti-barrier champ shields now. And on top of that, after you've broken the shield, you can then use this weapon to finish the champ. You wouldn't have to swap to your power weapon like we ordinarily do when using Ariana's Vow against champions. It should single-handedly melt champs because of this buff, so things look really promising for Ariana's Vow. I'm definitely excited to see what it's like to bust this bad boy out in Grandmasters next season. Another exotic hand cannon that definitely needs to be thrown on this list is Malfeasance. This thing recently got a catalyst which gives it an increase to range and gives it the perk Vorpal. Now ordinarily you might not be shooting your primary ammo weapon to kill a boss inside Destiny 2, but when this is paired with the exotic boots Lucky Pants, it's actually extremely lethal. And we'll get to that in a little bit and we'll cover Lucky Pants later on in this video. Now there are two archetypes of hand cannons that were not really mentioned much in this video, the 180 RPM and the 120 RPM hand cannons. The reason why I'm not really mentioning them is because I don't expect these to be meta in PvE. 180s have to directly compete against SMGs due to their range limitations, and we all know how potent SMGs are. But if I did have to pick a 180 RPM hand cannon to throw in here, because I know some of you out there watching do enjoy this archetype of hand cannons, after the buff goes live, I will throw in the mix the posterity hand cannon. The reason why is simple, the left per column has reconstruction, which gives this weapon a massive magazine and allows you to not have to reload it as much. And in the right hand column, you can pair that with frenzy. If you're doing low end content where you can actually one shot the ads with a 180, this would definitely be a really fun hand cannon to use. So I'll throw the posterity in there for all the 180 RPM hand cannon lovers out there. And conversely, if I absolutely had to pick a 120 RPM legendary hand cannon to throw in this list, I'm going to go with the bottom dollar. Explosive payload and rapid hit is an insanely nice roll. The only downside with these 120s is that they have such a small mag, which means a ton of reload. But of course, remember, we do have a small buff to reload, but I still think it's going to be painful reloading these things as often as you'll need to. The silver lining for 120 RPM hand cannons is this though. If after all these buffs go live, you take a 120 RPM into a Grandmaster and you can one hit kill red bar enemies, that will make them significantly better than 140s. But we won't know that until it goes live, so we'll have to do some damage testing as soon as that does go live. The last part that I need to mention is that if you're an absolute hand cannon lover, you need to make sure that you rock Lucky Pants after this buff goes live. Because with Lucky Pants, your damage output is significantly increased with hand cannons. Its exotic perk illegally modded holster reads, when you ready a fully loaded hand cannon that deals kinetic damage or damage type that matches your subclass energy type, each hit from that hand cannon increases the damage of the next shot for a short time against a combatant. Hand cannons ready faster and are more accurate immediately after swapping to them, provides a small benefit to the airborne effectiveness stat of hand cannons while the buff is active. Lucky Pants are already extremely powerful, but after this hand cannon buff goes live, this is going to be a really fun exotic and create some really unique hand cannon centric builds. So definitely keep your eye on that. And there you have it. That's everything you need to know in regards to the up and coming hand cannon changes in Destiny 2. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my list here down in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and smash the like button. And if you enjoyed this video, click on the screen here right now in order to watch another video from this channel. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Later.